Uh, I guess I'll start. Um, it's just a really tough loss um, to lose a game like that in injury time after fighting so hard to come back and, and equalizing. Um, team and the locker room is pretty gutted at this moment, so it's just a tough one because um, you really feel like you deserve at least a point out of that game uh, in every way possible. So tough for us, you know, very disappointing, um, but we have to learn from it, come back and be stronger. San Jose, we have to give them full credit. They're a great team. Uh, there's a reason why they're the one team in the, in the West right now and, and maybe even perhaps the league. And, um, but at the same time, I, I think we showed that we are a team that's as good as any in this league, um, especially in the second half. We made some adjustments, um, and I thought we had had the game. Before they scored their first goal, I thought it was our game um, to get the three points out of. It changed after their first goal, and you know we, we did a great job to, to get an equalizer. But um, you know then you think you just got to manage those final ten minutes. So. John, what happened on the on the two goals? Was it just defensive breakdowns, good balls played in? Um, what, what did you see from the sideline? Well, I mean, the first one uh, begins with a turnover. And if there's one area where we weren't very good tonight, it was in, in turnovers that I don't think were forced by San Jose. Uh, in the first half, we, we definitely turned the ball over too much. And in this case, on the first goal, um, you know, we had the ball. We could have played out of the back fairly easy. Not much pressure on us. We turn the ball over, and while you know we have six guys getting forward, now we have to go back and defend it. Still thought we had, you know, time and recover really well on the turnover. Um, and uh, you know, Lenhart, I mean, that guy's a union killer, isn't he? I mean, every time he comes here, he scores goals. So uh, I don't mean to make light of that, but but it was, you know. We think we, we defend those, and in that case, we didn't. And, you know, he showed uh, why he's, he's so dangerous. John, did you feel like you guys were a little reserved in those opening 45 minutes? I know you said you thought maybe deserved the, the three points, but you know, until they scored, it looked like you guys were a little reserved offensively. I thought in the second half, we had the better of the play, especially after about the first five to, to seven minutes of the second half. The first half, look, they're, they're a very good team. They attack you in a number of different ways. Uh, we did not keep the ball um, the way we wanted. We forced some balls uh, in, in the spots where we, we didn't want to um, take the game to. So from that end, yeah, we were a little more reserved. We were dropped a little far off. Um, and we just made an adjustment in the locker room at halftime, came out, um, put them under more pressure in the second half, and I think that changed the game. But it, still, in the first half, I mean, you're playing one of the best teams in the league, and we didn't give them any chances. You know, um, We defended a lot, um, didn't possess the ball the way we should have, but um, we felt good about ourselves at halftime because we knew that if we could get more numbers forward, put them, take our, our line a little higher in the second half, that we would have some opportunities. And I think that happened until their first goal. John, you just mentioned that you guys uh, had a tough time possessing the ball. Do you think that that still comes from a from a uh, a disconnect um, on the offense? It, it, it seems like like between the ball coming from the mids to the forwards, it's, there was just no linking play there. Would you agree? I don't know if I totally agree. I mean, what what I what I see, and I think what as a coaching staff we're looking at right now, is because of the way we're playing, we need to combine and get a little rhythm, and we need to have that up back, and then send the ball. In today's case, we talked about exploiting the wide spaces, and we were a little rushed. You know, we the ball would turn over, we would win it, and we tried to go right back down, and and that doesn't give, especially when we're trying to you know spring Leo it doesn't give him enough time to get higher up the field. We were not allowed to stretch a defense. So we're in a really tight space, and we have to manage that better. And, and again, I thought we did a better job of that in the second half. But that, I think, is something that we have to, as a team, learn. We have to make sure we have that you know, two to three pass stretch in good rhythm, move the ball wide, allow Leo to stretch us, allow our outside guys to get forward. And that opens up a lot of the game. And again, I'm probably beating a dead horse for saying I thought we did a better job of that in the second half, um, and therefore it changed the game a little bit. But we'll continue to work on that, you know. Um, 
for stretches tonight it was better even than the last uh, couple games. So I think uh, you know, we have a, we found a good recipe in the last four games. And uh, you're playing a team like San Jose, um, who has dictated possession against every team they've played. And, and I thought when we finally figured it out, we were pretty good. Is there anything Leo can do more than he already is? Or? I mean, you know, it's it's all the team. It's not anything Leo's doing. Um, when the ball goes to him, he's got to hold it up for us and allow us to help him. Um, and, and it's not one player. I mean, if the ball goes to him in the first pass, he's got to know that he's got to just hold it and allow us time to, to join him. So it, it, it's everybody. It's a team issue. John, what is it about Stephen Lenhart specifically? Is, is there anything that you can point to that makes him particularly difficult to deal with for this team? Well, two things. I mean, San Jose is really good serving balls from wide. They do a really good job um, getting their backs into the tack and putting balls in the box, and they've exploited every team so far in the league, basically, that way. Um, Stephen Lenhart is just a beast in the air, you know? Um, he, he's got great height, but his timing is good. Um, he's reading the serves pretty well. I mean, these, these are balls that he's seen every single day in training. Um, and unfortunately, we were on the, the bad end of two of them tonight. Can you talk a little bit about Kai Herdlin, what you thought you got from him? And did he just come off because of lack of fitness from coming over? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, you know, Kai's brand new to us, and I thought he did a really good job. I mean, for the debut and playing for the union, I thought he did a, a great job. We started him on the left, um, made a little adjustment, and brought him over to the right. but. Um, I think he contributed really well tonight and allowed us to get to a point in the game where um, we could be successful. Um, brought on Jack McInerney and went uh, to two forwards in that stretch. And, and I, liked, I liked our chances at that point. So I liked the, the things that Jack did coming into the game. But again, going back to Kai, um, valuable uh, start and minutes for him. So I think he's a good addition to our team. John, talk about the versatility of Williams. You've now played him in three different positions this season. Yeah, I mean, Shane's our are all-rounder. You know, he's um, he's playing all across the back line. And um, I will say that I don't think Shane would tell you that his favorite spot is left back. Um, he's obviously a little better from, from the right and uh, has done a great job in the last two games as a center back. Um, but uh, he's just got a great mentality, and he'll do whatever you ask him to do. So. Um, you know, in the end, when we were down a goal, we, we took off Gaddis and moved Shannon back to the right because he's much more effective getting forward. Um, and that was part of the reason that we, we were able to put them under pressure and get one back. Last question. How's Brian doing? And uh, how do you think Amogi filled in in the center of the each other? Brian's good. Um, you know, hopefully we'll have him back for uh, Seattle. And I thought Amobi had a really strong game. You know, we asked him to sit a little deeper in the first half. Um, we moved him up uh, a position in the second half, and that made a good difference for us. But um, overall, you know, good 90 minutes for Amobi. And he's been training and working really hard, and uh, this was a great opportunity for him. Thanks, guys. Thanks.